Hello friends, now this is another uh, class explaining funny linguistic terms. Today is very simple, I uh, have two terms you know already, but I just wonder. Some people ask me doubt about this, so I thought of just the clarifying this. What is the difference between phonetic symbol and a phonemic symbol? The interesting thing is that both they look alike, no difference at all. For example, if you write P like this, and P, this is a phonetic symbol and as well as a phonemic symbol. But how will you distinguish it? A phonetic symbol is written within square brackets. So like this, square brackets, that's one difference. And a phonemic symbol is written within slashes. This is how you recognize. If you find a symbol written like this, that means it is a phonetic symbol. And if you write, if you see it written within slashes, it is a phonemic symbol. Now what is the difference? When you write like this, this means, meaning of this is, it is a bilabial, bilabial, uh, voiceless, voiceless prosing. That's all. A bilabial, voiceless prosing. That's the meaning. But if you, if you write like this, this means a bilabial, bilabial I suppose you know, both the lips, bilabial, voiceless, voiceless prosive that belongs to, belongs to English. That's the meaning. Understand? In other words, the Phonetic symbol just will tell you what is the characteristic of that symbol. That is, you can say it's quality. See, it is bilabial, it is voiceless, and it is a proxy. Understand? But on the other hand, when you write it within slashes, you say it is bilabial, it is voiceless, it is proxy belongs to English language. So we always say that a phonemic symbol is language specific. Language specific. That is the difference. A phonetic symbol is not language specific. It is free. It just tell you, it tells you that I am a bilabial, my uh, mechanism of production, that is the place of articulation is two lips, then vocal cords don't vibrate, so it is voiceless, plosive because you hear a plosion sound. It does not say that uh, it belongs to a language. But when you write like this, it shows, I think now it is clear, I need not go any further there. It shows that both the lips, the place of articulation is two lips, and uh, the vocal cords don't vibrate, therefore voiceless, and plus you can say that it is, uh, it is uh, a possible question so, and it belongs to the English language. Understand? I think it is very clear. This is the case with all the 44 sounds. 44 sounds, there are many other sounds also, many other languages have many other sounds. Glottal sounds, then uh, uh, guttural sounds, and so on. So, what they do is when they are, when we don't say that this belongs to a particular language, you always put it within, within square brackets, otherwise slashes. All right, is that clear to you? Not all about that? All right, thank you very much for listening. Hope that you have. Uh, uh, you are enjoying my classes and you get some profit out of, some benefit out of my class. Okay? Bye. See you again with another uh, exp explanation of another term or terms like this. Okay. Bye.